What's up guys, welcome to another video. So we just finished the level 100 and now gonna do the level 200 setup. So, um, for level 200 I use dagger. Uh, you'll see why. So let me change all of this. Um, same setup with the gear. Uh, just dagger is different. Uh, passives are different as well. Still got Killing Blow, but this time I have Mental Focus, Blade Dance, and Evil God Bloodline. Um, another thing is, like I said, Strength Food. I use Strength Food for this guy. My Cyclone has Arachna Armor, and I have the Down Incarnation on it. Got the End Silver Necklace, which is from level 125 Reaper. Uh, I'm just putting this on for more decks, really. Um, Abyssal Ring is the same. Tri Pierce is my hazard, so got the Arachna. Now, the reason why I have Arachna is I need uh, accuracy for this dude. Because uh, I think you need close to close to 500 for him. Um, got the Hazard Incarnation there. Necklace is the same. Ring is the same. My Rapid Bite is down damage, so got the Incarnation. Those two are the same. Shadow Stitch though, I use this for debuffing, so I'm using Closer Tranquility with high special accuracy, and I'm using the Special Accuracy Incarnation. Now it does take away some accuracy, but uh, usually one Bulwark is still enough to hit him. I just need to, I need to do it to where he, I can at least get the, uh, the speed debuff on him, and that's it. And I'm using Earrings of Silence as well with Special Accuracy, and uh... Heavy leather boots. I could use the uh, Skill Connect EX instead, like the food for this instead, but um, I just keep this on really. Uh, I could change it if I didn't want my Shadow Stitch to miss at all, but I just keep that on. Um, records, same thing, nimble, uptight, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now I did do like a previous run of this just now, um, was about to kill him and then after he gets up he does this move where he dashes straight to you, so he killed me right there, uh, gotta wait for that to, uh, I'd say at least whenever you hit the shadow stitch and it gets down to maybe two or one second, move away from him. Also, a big thing to know is whenever you do kill these guys and you hit the try again button, make sure after you do that, do not lose or hope you don't get a blue screen or your power goes out because if you do, then you lose those coins that you got while you were just doing that try agains over and over. some SP for my Reaper and like I said wait for him to do these two attacks do that wait for that now go hazard so now try jump shadow stitch it landed, nice. And Cyclone. Now just jump in Cyclone. So yeah, once that debuff on him gets down to maybe like two seconds or like three just to be safe, uh, move away from him. Because like I said, he does that dash attack and uh, it's better if you like sprint away from it. But uh, I've killed him with one down before. I think I just got lucky with my crits and then, uh, and then uh, my chain damage kicking in. But like right there, move away. Because he gets up. Yeah, Enraged Assault right there. Does that dash. So move away from that. So I'd say that's pretty much the only move you gotta really worry about. Yeah. Hazard him again. Use Super Art. And just do the little chain again. Yeah. 
And there you go, dead. Yeah, I say it's mostly uh, with this, you have to really practice with him to really learn him and, uh, you know, it's just waiting mostly. Bait out his uh, attacks, but uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the level 200 setup. And, uh, you know, at, let me know if you got any questions about it or, you know, you want to know where to get some of the stuff like the incarnations. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head right now where to get some of them. But ask down below and I'll uh, answer it. But that's pretty much it for my level 200 setup. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.